Hi, Carol Turek here from Hummingbird Spot. Welcome to Costa Rica. I'm here with Beaks and Peaks Birding and Adventure Tours and with Costa Rica Birding. We've got lots of hummingbirds to show you. Costa Rica has about 50 species of hummingbirds here in this little country, and we're going to look for a few of them. I arrived in San Jose, and I was picked up by Lalo Benvenides, who would be our local Costa Rican guide with Birdwatching Central America. We took about a 30-minute drive out to the Bougainvillea Hotel. I checked in, looked out of the balcony, and I was immediately impressed with the acres of botanical gardens behind this hotel. A couple hours later, William Oriana arrived at the hotel and we set out to look through the gardens to see what we could find. We found the rufous-tailed hummingbird, which is an old friend of ours, but he seemed to be the only species around at the time, so I took several photographs of this gorgeous guy. The next morning after breakfast, we were headed toward the Selva Verde Lodge, but we stopped first at the El Tapir Reserve, also known as the Old Butterfly Garden on Route 32. This is one of the best places to find the snowcap hummingbird. The snowcap hummingbird was one of my main targets for the whole Costa Rica trip. There's no other hummingbird that looks anything like this. Its whole body is a deep reddish purple, except for the tuft of bright white feathers on top of his head. And it looks like freshly fallen snow, so that's why it's called the snowcap hummingbird. This is a pretty rare color for a hummingbird, and that makes this bird very sought after for all birders. The male and the female look very different. She's just got a green back and crown and a snowy white throat and breast. You can also find them in Honduras, Nicaragua, and Western Panama, but Costa Rica is the most reliable place to find this bird. And here at El Tapir, we were able to get great photos and video. photographing for a couple of hours, Lala wanted to leave because we were expected at Selva Verde for lunch. But I was having so much fun photographing the snowcap hummingbird that I didn't want to leave. So we found the local place El Yugo de Mitata, which was a cafeteria with a huge assortment of foods, including five different kinds of ceviche, so I was very happy. We ended up staying for a total of six hours photographing the snowcap hummingbird, and Lalo learned his first lesson about me. Don't expect me to stick to any schedules. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. Believe me, subscribing is very, very important, and it helps me out a lot. Next Sunday, we're going to visit Soda y Mirador, which is a restaurant that has a deck with beautiful hummingbirds and a couple of near endemics. See you next Sunday.